racing was started in 1988 as actual manufacturing and with two CNC machines and I became a partner four years ago now. The two initial partners are Pete Bicknell and Randy Williamson. Uh, they basically, same story, they built race cars because they raced cars and that's how it all started. So and we, we've evolved quite a bit from there. There's 10 CNC machines now and about 30 employees. We have a the factory here, we have a store at the front of our factory, and we have a store in Niagara Falls, New York, that's 10,000 square feet. We make mostly aluminum race car parts, and we have five CNC lays and five CNC mills, uh, one of them being a pallet change mill for high production, and we have two lays that have uh, live tooling on them, one of them has a sub spindle. Uh, we've just actually recently purchased a horizontal pallet change machine. Uh, to try and uh, take advantage of being able to work on three sides of parts and uh, the pallet change has proved out really good for us on our other machines so we've really seen a huge gains on being able to make parts like that. Uh, in one of my other businesses I had somebody else producing a lot of uh, some CNC parts for me and a lot of it was prototype work and I was having a hard time having somebody else being in charge of what I was doing. So I decided that uh, I thought I was smart enough to own my own CNC machines. And I talked to a friend of mine and he used Mastercam. So at that point, um, I decided that that was probably the, the best software for me because I had a neighbor who would basically answer his telephone until 11 o'clock at night and kind of help me through it. And that point then I met Kevin from in-house. I guess a lot of it is just having a good relationship and it makes it easy to, to use the software because when you get along with the people that are teaching you and helping you, it, you know, it's a lot easier. You know, there's a lot to be said for the fact that it is a, it is a big family. You know, so much of it is people still do the old-fashioned programming. Yeah. Which, yeah. I mean, you won't want to put it. You have to have rocks in your head to want to do it the old way. It's not hard to justify at quarter to five at night when you've got an issue and you can call somebody and they can solve that problem for you. At that point, you know, it, now you're free to work till midnight if, if that's what it takes. I think it's only fair that when, if a new release comes out to upgrade to it because, you know, staying, being too stubborn to learn anything else and staying on eight isn't fair to the people that are servicing you because there's a lot of those people that have probably never used it. I mean, there's a reason why, you know, everybody upgrades and they make stuff better. And going from release to release, there's, you know, there's always a few little things that you have to, you know, work through. But, you know, it's it's as simple as, uh, you know, you get on the telephone or you stop by when you're in the area and they, you know, you watch something online. It's not hard to keep up. So I can tell you, I started at 9 and I'm at X5 now and, you know, I would never go back. You know, it's hard to want to talk to somebody and deal with them and I admit that you're stupid enough sometimes that you have to call because you don't understand what you're doing. You know, you have to be comfortable with those people and if you're not, then, you know, it does make it tough to want to call somebody. But as far as uh, in-house, I don't know why anybody wouldn't wouldn't call you guys. I don't even think twice. I mean, I, I know your number off by heart. If I need something, I call. Yeah, but... <laughs> um, yeah, people need to call. I mean, you pay for the service, it's there. And you know, why beat your head against the wall for five hours when they can they can give you the answer in five minutes? Yeah, we build parts for the mining industry and a lot of industrial stuff too. And we do a lot of private label work. We built some parts for Porsches. We built some parts for sprint cars, you know, NASCAR Canadian tire cars. And the biggest advantage we have now is that we offer uh, complete packaging. We do blister packaging. If we make something for somebody, we anodize it, we laser etch it, we package it with their label, and it adds instant value to their parts, whether it's for a skateboard or, you know, for a drilling machine or a race car or a bicycle, uh, Harleys, anything. <laughs> 